is Hans the Ramen Raider coming at you with another episode of It's Noodle Recipe Time. This is the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. And this is the first one of these I've been doing, I'm doing in a while. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. Today we're doing a Malaysian red curry. And that's thanks to the folks at a company. Actually, uh, one folk that I know of, um, I was contacted by a woman named Michelle from a company called Homia. Homia. Basically means to live the good life and to be well fed. We're looking at like, that's like, that's the best. You got Indonesia, you got Singapore, you got Malaysian. And those are the flavors that they're. Tr she's trying to like introduce to the, the United States and good on you. So, I'm going to go a little bit rogue on this one. Uh, it's got like a way you're supposed to do this, but yeah, I'm, I'm uh, kind of unprepared. The only thing I do have is time because I'm at home today. Uh, my son's at school and my poor daughter Mimi yet again is under the weather, which really, really is a bummer not feeling good at all, so. Normally right now, she'd be on the bus on her way to, actually, she'd be at, they'd both be at school right now. This is a rice noodle. They're calling it a laksa noodle. Let me get that boiling. But yeah, usually I'd be out walking. It's windy. The weather changed. Uh, not it, it's, it's a uh, Thursday right now, not last Sunday, but the Sunday before it, it hit 91 degrees in the Seattle area, which is just unheard of. And uh, yeah, I don't know what to think of that. Okay, we got a zipper on here. I want to preserve the pack. Yeah, I'm just going to do this. I haven't scanned this because, well, it's kind of lumpy. But I'm going to, so I gotta. I I prepare food way different than any of you normal human beings do. I have to make sure that I can get packaging scanned. At least at some point. <clears throat> this smells good already. So we've got a big sachet here. Looks like you've got. Two sachets? Is this two servings? Uh, cool. I'm just gonna use one of these. These are the same. Do they? Right? Do they have a number on them? Here we go. I wonder. Double O four, double O four. Yeah, perfecto. So basically, you get one of these big sachets. You can go to, um, what's their website? I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. I want to get everything cooking. So here's this one. Now I'm just going to drop it in this pot here. Can you see the pot? I don't know. I'm going to turn that down because this is going to take a few minutes. Simma down, Simma Simma. So there's our red curry paste. Ooh, yum yum. They also sent, she also sent me uh, coconut milk, which is rad. I mean, if you really like coconut milk, you could take one of these little packages and uh, walk around, jab a straw in it like a Capri Sun and just chug coconut milk wherever you go. I think that's kind of fancy. Generally not my thing. I remember though when I was in Thailand, there was just, uh, there was like a table at this one function we went to and they literally had, is there a special opening technique? No. Um, they had a table just completely full of coconuts with straws in them, which was great. I think I went through like maybe six of those. It was hot in Thailand. So 
Here's our coconut milk. I'm just gonna throw the whole thing in there. I hope I'm not being a bad person the way I'm doing this. I don't know. But it seems like there's a lot of, of the instructions on these things saying, try this, try that. So I'm gonna try this. So here we go. Um, what else do I have to throw in here? I'm, you know, got some fish ball. Still frozen, but it'll do well. It's gonna take a while to heat up. So there's that. I've got some spring onion, and I know Uncle Roger would be saying, no, yeah, don't put your spring onion in yet. I'm putting a little bit in for flavor, okay? I've got more for garnish at the end. Jeez. If you've never seen Uncle Roger on YouTube, look him up. That guy, he's the man. I'm a huge, huge Uncle Roger fan. People were telling me for ages to look up his stuff and it took me a while, but I guess I'm a late adopter, but now, now, yeah, he's, he's a good guy. He knows his stuff. A buddy of mine was saying he was going to contact Uncle Roger and try to get him to, like, uh, do some kind of collaboration with me, which would be great. I'd, I'd love to have him, like, look at one of my videos and just have him get all irritated with how I do things. <laughs> That sounds like kind of how he gets, but I don't know. I know some. I know some stuff. He'd get mad that I don't use a wok. He might get mad at my fork. I don't. I don't know if he would. Uh, I think with fishball, he'd be like fishball. Okay, fishball. But yeah. And we're gonna let this kind of do its thing. Yeah. Ooh, that's good. That's what I'm talking about. So what's been going on with me? Um, not a lot. Doing a lot of walking. Trying to break the amount of steps and uh, mileage I've been doing. In So, what was it? Last month I got just shy of 500,000 steps in. This month I'm shooting for beating 623,000. And if I do that, that'll be the most steps I've done in a month since, I think it was like June of 2021. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of slacked off all the minute. I'm, I've been a slacker. But no more, no more slackadaisical. These noodles are just about done. I want to be a little bit dunner than normal because that's how I like it and I think this will be my breakfast I think I'm actually gonna eat this one ladies and gentlemen wow yeah I like red curry and this has a really nice nice taste to it I wonder who's making these paste sachets mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, what else is going on? I just, um, it's been hard for me to get any work done because it's just been like great walking weather. Save today, but I get the kids on the bus and then I go walk about 10 miles and then I come home and I try to do some work and then I get back out and do another five miles or so. So I'm trying to get like 30,000 steps a day if I can, 25 to 30. That's a pretty decent amount of walking. And I've been able to do that. Oh geez, it's what, the 27th today? So I've been doing that for like steady two weeks straight, then 10 to 12 miles a day at least. So that's pretty good. I've uh, been watching uh, Senate debates like no tomorrow. Seriously, that's just that's been my absolute favorite thing to do lately. Is is yeah, we got the midterm elections coming up, and I'm really into that. Love politics. Somebody like had a big hissy fit about me talking about politics on the show. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm I'm fascinated by politics. If you're not, that's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. But I every once in a while, I'll get somebody go like, 
this is not the time and place for talking about those things, okay? Like, they're giving me a lesson on how to do my show. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. No, it's my show. Have your own show and don't talk at all about politics. Because if you do, somebody might not like it. Anyway. Uh, what else is going on? Ah, my poor, poor wife still isn't feeling well. She fell at work. And that's been a real struggle around here. I've been doing extra, extra stuff around the house. Look at this, though. Look at that. Yeah. Again, thank you to Michelle over at Homia. Ah, uh, what's your website? I want to make sure to give you their website. It's got to be on here. It's got to be somewhere. Gluten-free, small bat. Yeah, almost all this stuff that they make is gluten-free, too. In fact, I think all of it is gluten-free. Oh, God, where is it? Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, so go to H-O-M-I. Ooh, turn it down. A-H dot com. That's homia dot com. Now we're going to throw... That's, that's good. That is definitely plenty. Now I'm gonna drop in my mung bean sprouts. This isn't gonna go much longer at all. Yeah, I'm gonna give this a, a swizzle. Yeah, baby. Yeah, I really, mm, I, I really, really like curry. That's like, if you don't like curry, I don't like you. So there you go. Uh, our rice noodles done. That's looking wondrous. It's, uh, I bet you Uncle, Uncle Roger get on me for sitting in a chair in the kitchen. But there's a small kitchen. You can't see my face. I don't know if you want to, but it would be kind of difficult from up here to do the show. So I don't, I don't know what to tell you. Now it's mentioned like putting everything on, like laying it on the noodle. I don't want to do that. I want to mix it. I want to have it all be nicely congealed together. That that makes me happy. That's. I'm cook I'm doing this up how I would eat it because I'm probably going to eat this. <laughs> oh, we'll just Hiya, too much noodle. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead serious. If you've never seen the Uncle Roger show on YouTube, I highly recommend it. It's fun, it's funny. And you'll learn a thing or two, because he will... He'll clean your clock, he'll make you a sandwich, he'll, he'll do things. Um... Okay. That? Hmm. Okay. Yeah. This is difficult. We'll get it in there. I wonder if it all fit in here. If it had all fit in here, that'd be great, but I don't think it's going to, and I don't want to like. Oh, I think. Oh. gonna do some I wish I had some coriander I wish I had some mint leaf those are two things that I would be more prone to see on something like this I'm guessing oh uh, my fried onion 
fried onion with regular onion. I say okay. This is like stuff you put on salad. And there's some crisp onion. Another thing you can use are uh, pork rinds. Pork cracklings are a uh, thing I've seen in Malaysia used in certain dishes, like, yeah. Another thing that would have been good if I had it, it's, and I guess it has something to do with the supply chain management issue, is, uh, here, let's, oh, I haven't even tasted it yet. I'm gonna have to do that after I take pictures, because I'm, I'm, I'm way too far in. I'm, I'm, I'm in deep. Oh, God, that's hot. You know, maybe I should just do it now to... This is, this is really hot. Kuri. Yeah. Oh, but I want it to look nice. Hmm. That's good. I think I probably definitely let the uh, rice noodle go a little long. For that I apologize. I don't know. So this is a crispy sambal that Michelle from Homia sent as well. I want to try this stuff straight. If you're a fan of Laogan Ma, this might be the kind of thing that floats your boat too. Mmm. Oh, that's nice. Ooh. Do I detect a little bellicon in there? Mmm. Mmm. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Shrimp paste is white people's kryptonite. That's what uh, Uncle Roger says. And I. Not me. I love shrimp paste. I have actually asked company, told companies that I've reviewed their products before, from Malaysia actually, I've said, can you make it even more prawn shrimp pasty? They're like, actually we did a focus group and it was actually too much, so we have to back off on it. No! A little bit of sesame seed. And that is that this is oh man this is good if you want to if you want to enjoy the taste the flavor of malaysia this is this is pretty pretty darn good and like i was saying you can totally like mess around with it you could do it with chicken you could do it with beef you could do it with whatever you want you could have have it over the curry over rice Oh, this is hot. Anyway, let's, uh, yeah, rotato, do your stuff. <laughs> to H-O-M-I-A dot com and uh, I don't have a coupon code for you but yeah, tell, tell them the Ramen Raider sent you. Anyways, this has been Hans the Ramen Raider wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day. Have a good one and bye!